my pranams to all atma jyotis divine rights of the self today we are going to contemplate on the soham kundalini kriya which we teach which you are learning how is it different from other practices other techniques there are many techniques many many, many meditation practices available how is it different how is it beneficial the soham kundalini kriya which we are teaching is a technique which has been handed over from generation to generation from the masters of yoga to the next generation to the students to disciples with the deep love care and attention each technique is perfected over centuries very gentle very simple practices but very effective these practices use your natural sensations we have five sense organs the sight the sound the touch the taste and the smell these are the five sense organs and there are corresponding five sensations this we call in sanskrit these sensations we call it as rupa rasa gandha sparsha rupa rasa gandha sparsha these are the sensations which are used rupa is the form rasa is the taste gandha is the smell and sound shabda sound so some of these natural sensations can be used as a gateway to higher consciousness we use the techniques work on each of these sensations separately for example jyotir dhyana is there the meditation on the light so it works on rupa or form as the sensation the idea is from form you move to a formless from the gross you move to the subtle from the subtle you move to the causal and from that transcendental every technique is designed in such a way that you move from the grosser to the subtle to the causal and transcendental the mind becomes more and more refined as you practice each of these techniques we use the sensation of touch or sensation of the body initially the sensations are gross then you experience the subtle sensations then gradually you understand how to go beyond sensations and experience your true self then we use the sensation of sound experience the sound in the gross form experience the sound in subtle form and experience the sound deepest level of sound which is what is called anstak sound or anahata dhvani which is a primal cosmic sound and go beyond the sound so any of the sensations can be a gateway to the self now here i have to understand how sensation can be a gateway to self the sensations can be gross subtle causal the sensation can be object related or subjective in nature for example if i see the light light is gross physical light that's called bahya or outer now if you observe the light inside it's called antar or inner that's outer light that's inner light inner light is subtle outer light is gross now from the outer you move to inner and from inner you drop the inner and go to transcendental which is beyond the inner and outer the mind has to move from the grosser to the subtle and then merge with the your inner nature true self which is the divine light so the practices help you to do that now this practice is a technique what you do for 15 minutes 20 minutes or half an hour a day 
or in this class when you come here you do practice for lunch. when you go home you practice for some amount of time but the practice is not an isolated practice the yoga is not just a practice which is a separate technique yoga is a lifestyle you have to bring in various aspects of yoga into your life you have to evolve as a human being technique is a help for example somebody goes to a doctor doctor prescribes him a medicine a tablet now you take the tablet but doctor also says you have to do exercise every day you have to do, take food in this quantity these three times this food you have to take he prescribes overall changes in your lifestyle similarly yoga also prescribes overall changes in your lifestyle if you practice this overall changes in the lifestyle it will be more beneficial it will help you the practices we say is called yama niyama some do's and some don'ts the technique along with the do's and don'ts will benefit you fully it helps you in overall life it improves your lifestyle it brings more and more peace into your life more and more love compassion the wisdom in your life so it's not just an individual transformation stephen covey the great motivation speaker in the seven habits of successful highly effective people he said personal victory first and public victory later if you master yourself you will be able to master outer relationships yoga speaks in another way it says atmano mokshartam jagaditaya cha the purpose of life yoga says is realization of myself self realization and service to the world so that i can be a better human being i can bring love compassion wisdom in the outer world so this is called atmano mokshartam means for the self realization and jagaditaya means service to the world when you when you become a better human being when you become more peaceful naturally the peace and love compassion will flow to the world brings more harmony in the world when you discover the kingdom of god in you definitely the kingdom of god gets established in and around you first in your family then gradually in the society you will become the light for the world that is the yoga that's why you say atma jyoti means light of the self you are the light of the self and the light of the self is the light of the universe brahma jyoti that means the light of the self is the divine light which shines in you when you recognize the divine light shining in you you become the light for the world light of love peace compassion jagat jyoti this is the overall practice which we teach here soham kundalini kriya discover the god in you discover the divinity in you let your mind be tuned to the higher consciousness through simple natural practices and these natural practices are not religious in nature there is no religion involved these are universal in nature yoga is not doesn't belong to a culture yoga doesn't belong to a society yoga is universal in nature the hunger for a human being in india australia africa is same the hunger for the animals also is same the hunger is same the food with they eat may be different similarly the natural spiritual practices the divine gifts are universal in nature and these gifts are what we got from our masters that we pass it on to you so that your life becomes beautiful make your life beautiful help others others by making their life beautiful that's what meant by yoga when it says atmano mokshatam jagaditaya cha let me work on myself my self relation to discover divine self in me and let me work for helping welfare of the world jagaditaya cha lokakalyana